We're here today to announce the filing uh, in federal court of a lawsuit that cha challenges the constitutionality of the war against Libya. The Constitution of the United States, Article 1, Section 8, makes it abundantly clear that no president can go to war unilaterally without the permission of the Congress. Uh, this lawsuit also is challenging a policy that permits the president to uh, commit the United States to a war under the authority of NATO. Uh, similarly, we're challenging policies that would allow the United States to be committed to war uh, under the authority of the United Nations. Uh, what we are saying in both cases is that it is necessary to come to Congress and that uh, neither NATO nor the UN trumps the United States Constitution. This is, as Dennis said, a very, very important day for the American people. And I believe those that wrote the Constitution would be standing with us today, quite frankly. Those who drafted the Constitution must be very disappointed in how the Congress and the executive branch have evolved over the past 25 years. Today, as Dennis said just a moment ago, this is an opportunity to rectify a direction that America's been going without the support of the Constitution. This is a clear and absolute illegal war. It has been from the beginning, as quite frankly, uh, wars have been in the past, but we're dealing with this one now. We have to deal with this now. We have to assert our powers. And if we don't, if we don't step forward now, if the courts don't assist us now, if our colleagues don't assist us now, eff effectively they said, you are a neutered branch of government with no powers in this arena, and that cannot happen.